Well, some local school districts are dropping their mask mandates, although the CDC says students should keep wearing masks because all kids won't be fully vaccinated by the end of this school year. The Blue Springs School District sent an email to parents yesterday saying masks are optional for students and staff, regardless of age or vaccination status. It adds the county still strongly recommends face coverings for individuals who are not fully vaccinated. The school district also said that other COVID-19 preventative measures are still in place. And Lee's Summit schools will also no longer require masks for students or staff, whether vaccinated or not. And tonight we're hearing from the parent of two Lee's Summit students, who's also a nurse. She says she's concerned about the district's decision. She says dropping the mask requirement puts children who are not yet eligible for vaccination at greater risk of contracting and spreading the virus. I don't understand how having kids exposed to each other who are exposed to their parents and their families going to fit into that because we know for a fact none of these kids have been vaccinated, period. So they do not fall into that category at all. Lee Summit schools will still require masks for students and adults on school buses. Well, Children's Mercy is vaccinating kids as young as 12 this week. The hospital's vaccination clinic will continue tomorrow and Saturday at the Adele Hall campus in Kansas City. And on the Kansas side, Children's Mercy is holding a clinic at its Overland Park location on Wednesday. You can sign up for those clinics online or by phone. Health officials say significant progress is being made against the COVID-19 pandemic, which led to those new guidelines for masks. John Lawrence reports the vaccines are proving even more effective than in trials. Millions of Americans are enjoying a big step toward a return to normalcy. I don't mind the masks, but I definitely feel like um, it's liberating to not wear them. It's great to see people's faces again. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says people who are fully vaccinated can go mask free indoors and outdoors, with some exceptions like airports and healthcare settings. In terms of the honor system, people have to be honest with themselves. You're protected if you're vaccinated. You're not if you're not vaccinated. Health officials say the vaccine's effectiveness is greater than it was in clinical trials. Well over 90% protecting you against disease, number one. Number two, a number of papers have come out in the past couple of weeks showing that the vaccine protects even against the variants that are circulating. And they're also hoping these new guidelines will entice more people to roll up their sleeves for a shot. You not only protect your own health, that of the family, but also you contribute to the community health by preventing the spread of the virus throughout the community. In other words, you become a dead end to the virus. And when there are a lot of dead ends around, the virus is not going to go anywhere. John Lawrence, KMBC 9 News. The CDC says about 37% of the U.S. is fully vaccinated and close to half the population has had at least one shot. Well, many people have questions about getting the COVID-19 vaccine and we're here to help. All this week, you can submit your questions about the vaccine and we'll take those to local health experts to get you the facts on the vax. You can ask your questions by using your phone's camera to scan the QR code that's there on your screen right now. You can also submit questions to us at KMBC.com. We'll be sharing the answers all next week on KMBC 9 News. More than 2,000 UMKC graduates got their diplomas at Kauffman Stadium this weekend, despite the rain. KNBC 9's Matt Evans was at the K earlier today, and it was a special celebration after last year's ceremony had to go virtual. Part of today's graduation ceremonies for UMK students here at Kauffman Stadium were under a rain delay, but nonetheless, about 2,300 students walked across the stage to get their diploma throughout this weekend. There were four graduation ceremonies in total, and for these graduates of the class of 2021, even though there is still a pandemic happening, graduating in the middle of Kauffman Stadium, pretty cool experience. Yesterday, one of the students, uh, as he got his diploma, took a big home run swing with it. It was... <laughs> and every every graduate is up on the on the big screen on the crown vision so that's really cool for them and their families and friends not only were the class of 2021 graduates announced today but also several hundreds from the class of 2020 got to walk across the stage today because of course as we all know so many graduation ceremonies canceled due to the pandemic last year so this is not only a celebration of the class of 2021 but also the class of 2020 from umkc at kaufman stadium matt evans kbc 9 
Well, for those family and friends who couldn't make it to the K, graduation ceremonies were also streamed online. In Lawrence, Kansas, severe weather canceled KU's afternoon commencement ceremony. There is another ceremony scheduled for 630 this evening. Tickets are no longer needed at Memorial Stadium and guests are able to sit wherever they'd like. Masks are required. Right now, many local governments have lifted their mask and social distancing mandates for the fully vaccinated. On the list, Kansas City, Missouri, Independence, Jackson County, Clay County, Platte County, and Johnson County, Kansas. Wyandotte and Douglas are the only two counties in all of Kansas that still have mask mandates. Wyandotte County officials will meet Thursday to consider potential changes. Douglas County leaders will also meet next week. We'll, of course, keep you updated on their decisions. Well, there are new worries that come with the new mask guidelines from the CDC. KNBC 9's Michael Mahoney takes a closer look in Mahoney's Minute. I think we're headed into a confusing week, maybe a couple of them. Here's why. There are still rules about having to wear a mask sometimes. You know what they are? Well, you're not allowed. Just two weeks ago, the Center for Disease Control was still saying fully vaccinated people should wear a mask indoors and outside in crowds. Now, very few are going to continue to wear a mask anywhere unless they are ordered. And the new rule is if you are not fully vaccinated, a face mask is still required indoors. So there will probably be arguments and fights at some stores over who's vaxxed, who isn't, and who claims to be. The head of the grocery store union worries about his workers. Are they now supposed to be the vaccination police? Missouri's at the 50% mark for people with one shot. Kansas, almost 40%. Over in Ohio, Governor Mike DeWine is starting a weekly million-dollar lottery to encourage people to get the shot. It is clear we have passed a major mark, and I am eager to see what the next few weeks brings.